All right, my viewers and subscribers, a blessed morning to you all again. Well, maybe by the time you are hearing this, it's in the afternoon, but I am recording this one bright and early before I step into work. Uh, a quick update on how things are actually going in that warm-up game between West Indies and the new South Wales playing 11. Gonna um, give you guys some information on that. Plus, uh, Rafman Powell, the captain of the Jamaica Scorpions, after winning the semi-final last night against Guyana. He had quite a few things to say as it relates to the team in general and his uh, innings that he, he was able to play. So we're going to give you some information on that. Just make sure you watch the video until the end. And if you have not yet subscribed, as per usual, go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get down into the meat of the matter now, my viewers and subscribers. So it would appear as if um, West Indies, they are... In a, I don't want to say luck in a, in, a, in a big battle with the new South Wales team, but it, I don't know. I don't want to say it's the pitch because the team is now, you know, the opponents are now getting runs. I don't want to say the pitch is a batting pitch, but, you know, we made 424 declare, 424 for 9 declare. Uh, Blackwood and Jason Hole are both retired out. Uh, yesterday, I would have given you some information letting you guys know that uh, go, at the end of the first day, we were, what, 297, I think it was, for five. So we were able to push on. Uh, we would have seen the lights of Devon Thomas going out there and getting a brilliant half century. And, you know, we were able to declare. So 424 for nine declare with Blackwood and Jason Hole are retiring and 42 and 50 respectively. Now, Devon Thomas got an opportunity to come in and bat and he was left not out on 77. Uh, he got 77 off 78. So a very fast half century for Devon Thomas, my peeps. He wasn't mocking about 77 off 78. Azari Joseph, he was also good, picking up 33 from 61. Ah, uh, yeah, man, Azari Joseph, as we know, he has been in good batting form recently. You know, um, he wasn't as successful with the ball, which I will ta um, t talk to you guys about a little later on. But with the bat, he did pretty well, 33 from 61. So 424 for nine declare Rastan Chase, um, Joshua De Silva, and 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 these guys, you know, they got a chance to bat, but they didn't do anything much. So, um, didn't you know the, the, their score isn't there? Uh, where the bowling is concerned, now Raymond Reefer and surprisingly Captain Craig Brathwaite, they were the ones that were able to pick up wickets. As uh, the New South Wales team, they were 259 for two off to a very very good start, my peeps. 259 for two. As I said, I didn't see the game or anything, so I'm not too sure if the pitch is 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 flat or or bowling has not really chipping in but the fact that we got 424 in a couple of days and then we see we are um they are now 259 for two i i would lean towards the side of the pitch um probably being good for batting so reef as i said picked up one wicket and brathwaite picked up one in terms of our lead bowlers now Jaden seals uh alzari joseph uh Rust and Chase, they were all pretty expensive. You understand? Seals had 10 overs for 44 runs. I think Roach wasn't too bad. I think Roach only gave away 20 runs. So Seals, 10 overs for 47, not 44, for 47 runs. Alzari had 10 overs for 40 runs. And we had uh, Raston Chase, his 10 over cost him 50 runs, while Nkrumah Bana bowled 4 overs for 34, uh, 34 runs. Very, very expensive, especially in a red ball game like that, to be bowling 4 overs for 34 runs. Very expensive. Um, so we still lead, though. We lead by 168 runs. 168 runs. The New South Wales team with... Uh, with eight wickets in hand so it's it's not looking too bad my peeps in in terms of our batsmen and bowlers getting an opportunity to really go out there and um and get some practice in all right so that is what is happening in that warm-up game so just to take a look at captain ravman powell before i hop out of here so ravman powell did an interview yesterday after the game and um you know he was speaking about that century so according to him he has a few centuries and that was definitely one of the better ones one of the best that he would have scored 
you know, getting 105, I think it was remaining not out. But the, the, it's not only about him getting the three-figure score, my peeps. It's, it's the fact that he came in at such a time where his wicket was very crucial, you know, especially when we lost Brandon King. Um, he was able to come in, settle down, and um, if he went early, then more than likely the team would have collapsed, my peeps, because at the end of the day, we only had a couple of other guys to come that weren't as, you know, we had Pete Salmon, um, well, this is a guy that scores a lot of runs. Well, he scored a lot of runs in intercollegiate cricket. Um, scores a lot of runs when he's playing um, club cricket in Jamaica. But up against the, the, the other nations, you know, it wasn't too expected that he would score a lot of runs. So it was very important for um, Ravman Powell to stay there and to bat as long as he did. So he was saying that it was a good wicket. You know, he got a good start. He got in. So it was important for him to stay in. And according to him, when he went into bat and got after the good start, you know, the idea was once he stays there and pays the, 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 the chase and not get out and back to the end then we would definitely win the game so that is how he was looking at it my viewers and subscribers um he was also asked about brandon king the importance of brandon king getting us to a good start and as you can imagine you know he was saying that it was very important for brandon king to get us off to such a good start and um help us to really get um get get into the mix of things uh, according to him the aim according to him the aim was to stay out there at, well the aim was to get a good start and to try and get a hundred runs in the first 15 overs so the middle order middle order could come out there and settle down and but i am not too sure i am not too sure why in a 50 over cricket cricket in a in a in a in a 50 over game you would want to send the middle order out there to try and get a hundred runs in 15 overs I, I am not too sure why you would want to do that but that is what he, he, he said that the idea was try and get a hundred runs in 15 overs and and then take it from there um according to him you know the team is peaking at the right time didn't start off the best uh but know that they are in the final with Trinidad and Tobago Red Force, they are definitely looking to sealing things and making sure that um, everything is in order as we look to lift the title. You understand? Um, saying that, you know, it's all about keeping, trying to keep improve, well, want to try and keep and, and improve in our three areas as we go up against Trinidad. I think we dropped a couple of catches in that semi final there, so we got to tighten up on that. And um, according to him, they are looking. I'm um, not paying attention to any specific player, any individual play over there in Trinidad because the entire team is good. It's just to focus on, 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 on what they can bring to the to the table and see how much they can go out there and win. You know, it would be very good to see Ravman Powell winning the CPL and turning around to winning the um winning the, the, the ODI, uh, the, the, the Super 50 tournament. Uh, keep on saying ODI, the Super 50 tournament. Uh, it's, go it's going to be challenging though, definitely going to be challenging. Not sure if it's going to be a 300 game. It's a final, so maybe 250 or, or 260 or might end up being a, a, a good score. Um, but I, I am not going to say because I, I, I wasn't sure that we were going to see any 300 like that and we got quite a few in the semi-finals. So yeah, that is how it went, my viewers and subscribers. Um, as it relates to Ravman Poe's interview. So we're going to leave it right there for now. Big up on yourself, my peeps, and we'll touch base later. Zane.